Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Nazak Kuleshia back with another video. Today we're going to be discussing about Amazon and a firm's partnership. So before we begin, I want to say I'm not a financial advisor and you should always do your own due diligence and research before taking part in any investment scheme. Let's get into it. Okay, so this one is from IBD. This article is from IBD. Dow Jones futures will open Sunday evening along with S&P 500 futures and NASDAQ futures. A firm stock, AFRM, surged Friday night on the payments firm, the new analysis, uh, alliance, sorry, not analysis, uh, with Amazon.com, AMZN, as the buy now, pay later option booms online. So you might have figured out by now what a firm does. And if you did, good job. Well, a firm basically does is the buy now, pay later um, loan type option. If you if you don't don't feel like paying for your things like now, it's like after pay. So Tesla arrival Lee Auto reports early Monday. Amazon is teaming up with a firm holdings to offer an installment payment option at checkout. Amazon already has a relationship with Walmart, Shopify, and many other big e-commerce players. Still. A firm stock shot up 36% Friday night in active trade on the Amazon news after rising 50% or more at one point. AMZ in stock was little changed. So we're just I'm just gonna pull up a firm. Oh, hang on. Hold up, I'm getting a glitch. Sorry, people. There we are. We're back. So I'm just going to pull up a firm afterwards, like after this article. So stay tuned. So Amazon is diving into the buy now, pay later space. The e-commerce giant is teaming up with a firm. A firm's buy now, pay later checkout option will be available to certain Amazon customers in the U.S. starting Friday with a broader rollout in the coming months, the company said in a statement. The partnership will let Amazon customers split purchases of $50 or more into smaller monthly installments. Amazon spiked as much as 48% after hours on Friday, adding more than $8 billion to its market capitalization, later settling up around 33%. Amazon shares were unchanged. A firm stock really spiked up. Okay, this one was from CNBC. And... Early in August, Square jumped into the space with a $29 billion, billion dollar deal to buy Australian fintech Afterpay. Just some FYI. Also, a firm says by partnering with Amazon, we're bringing the transparency, predictability, and affordability that, Amazon, that um, a firm provides today to the millions of people who shop on Amazon.com in the US. Said Eric Moore, senior vice president of sales at Affirm. So, Affirm's mission is to deliver honest financial products that improve, improve lives. And they never charge any late or hidden fees, increase the amount, just pay what pay up front, apparently. But I still don't trust them because I've never just I've never done after paying. I did, I'm a bit skeptical of it overall. I just don't like it. But that's my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor and always do your own research. So let's look at Amazon. Amazon was like little changed. So Thursday, if we go to Friday, it it's uh, it was at $324. Now it's like a $3,349 before it was $3,324. So it's not very much changed but let's look at a firm let's pull up a firm i'm very interested to know what, what how a firm fared okay so it's at 92 dollars oh my gosh okay so it was at about 67 dollars hang on sorry for the ad about $67, it spiked to $100. Now it's calming back, back down to 92. That's huge. That's just, that's ridiculous. 
that's like the biggest I've ever seen. Let's let's pull up their thing on Google Finance. Oh, it's back to 67, I think. Okay, it's a 67. It spiked to 100 and it's currently at 92. But I'm not sure why it says 67.90. Not really sure why. Okay, so that is just crazy though. That's like the crazy thing. The market cap of a firm is $18 billion. They don't have a dividend yet. Their P ratio, they don't have one yet. And let's look at their financials. Revenue, 230.66 million, up a year over year. Net income is in the negative. Diluted EPS is in the negative. Net profit margin, negative. Okay, I don't like the negatives. I just don't like them. Net change in cash, 1.17 billion. That's like up infinity percent like 10,000%, which is amazing. Cash on hand, 1.62 billion. Cost of revenue has gone down, 96.99 million. I don't like a lot of those negatives though. Those red downs, those negatives, that's never a good sign. But that's my opinion, not financial advice, do your own research. So in conclusion, I am very excited to see where, where the Amazon and Affirm deal goes. And I'll be waiting for more news. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it till the end of this video for one of those lovely, beautiful people, please be sure to subscribe and comment, and comment Powder Puff in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye.